Botched bleach. Yes, that is also a name for it. Right away. Because you want that hair color. Now. It's horrible. It's, it's just horrendous. Hello and welcome back my little darlings to another video here on my channel. How are you? I am not doing very great today. I have a headache. But I hope that you are terrific. Yes indeed, I hope you are. And if you aren't terrific, I hope you will feel terrific after this video, of course. Because that is the point with my videos. You know, to laugh a little bit, think that somebody else is stupid in the head and feel good about yourself not being that person on camera, you know. And the reason you clicked in on this video is of course you want to bleach your hair at home and you want to do it without getting a bleach fail and we have all seen bleach fails sometimes. Might it be on a reaction channel, might it be on Facebook, might it be an Instagram video or you have just stumbled upon it, you know, like... What is that? Today I will share with you my tips and tricks for how I have bleached my hair without getting too much breakage. Yes indeed. But before we jump into the video, don't forget to press that like and subscribe with all notifications turn on so you don't miss anything because I am gonna bleach my hair in just a few days and you are in dire need to say that because that is gonna turn to bad shit so fast I can die. So let's do a transition and I see you on the other side. Yes, please. The first thing I'm gonna talk to you about is choosing the right bleach. And choosing the right bleach can be very, very hard. There are a crap ton of different brands. There are a crap ton of lifts. You can also buy, you know, separate developer and separate bleaching powder at, you know, the internet or a beauty store. So what should you choose? It's really difficult to tell you what to choose, but I would recommend you not to buy the tub of bleach powder and the bottle with the developer and experiment at home because we are not professionals. We do not know how the hair will react. We do not how, we do not know how. We don't know the perfect ratio between bleach powder and developer to get the perfect result. It can use bleach nothing at all or it can just fry the hair off your scalp and I have seen that before and of course box bleach can do that also but botch botched bleach yes that is also a name for it box bleach comes in pre-measured packets so you can't mess up with the measurements of course the only thing you can mess up with it the only thing you can mess up with is actually buying too little bleach if you have long hair do not buy the tub of bleach powder and the tub of developer just buy the box bleach if you're gonna bleach your hair at home and i would actually opt for a little bit of a higher brand you know like schwarzkopf or any other sub brand to schwarzkopf and henkel because schwarzkopf and henkel does a lot of hair related stuff and it's actually quite good quality for being a drugstore or grocery store item. To move over to which strength you should use, that is very very individual. It all depends on if your hair is colored, if your hair is processed with something beforehand, the quality of the hair type. You know you have coarse hair, smooth hair, curly hair, straight hair. But the rule of thumb is do you have a lot of red pigments or black in your hair you should probably use a little bit of stronger bleach to get that color out if you are going for that very very blonde look if you just want to lift it a couple of levels you can just go for a weaker bleach and if your hair is very damaged and it's still black you should not go for the strongest bleach of course because damaged hair does not like the strongest bleach it is horrible for the hair i can assure you that because bleach works by opening the hair up oxidizing the color out and that leaves the hair dry and damaged and very very raggedy in the structure you know so if your hair is maybe very coarse very dry from the beginning put bleach on that it's gonna look like crap afterwards so if you are uncertain how much you want to lift your hair color you can always check the package and say hmm my hair is black and this level bleach will get me that optimal result if i follow the instructions i should choose that one then you look in the mirror and say oh my god my hair looks like a goddamn broom i should probably not choose this bleach then i will go for a lower level lift with the bleach of course that is like the general idea or at least that's how i used to pick bleach when my hair were very very damaged i just went for a little bit of a weaker bleach and started 
in the bottom and then just worked out in the ends so it would get a coherent color. But the ends would not break off because the bleach weren't strong enough to do more damage than were necessary. Because damage is something that you always will get no matter what bleach you are using and which level lift you are using. But you can minimize the risk of actually getting a bleach fail if you choose a little bit of a lower level lift on your box bleach. Yes, okay. That were a long segment of this video, I'm sorry. The next thing is don't style it because now you have probably bought your bleach and you're gonna want to bleach it and you probably want to do it right away because you want that hair color now. That is not a good thing because your hair needs to be prepared for the bleach and the first step to prepare your hair for bleaching is do not heat style it or use any styling product you, you know like hairspray or waxes because many of the hair styling products you buy at the grocery store is actually filled with chemicals that will dry out your hair like alcohol and stuff like that so do not style it with heat or with products for at least a week before bleaching it so your hair can have a time to rest itself and repair itself a little with the oils from your scalp and all of that sort of stuff. Yes, man. No. Let's go over to the third thing in this video and that is only use conditioner for that week you aren't styling your hair. You should of course wash your hair if it's dirty because it can get dirty if you work out or something like that but you should just leave it be for that week you don't style it because so it can build up that natural protection of oils and sebum and all of that sort of stuff you have on your scalp and your hair and the times you are gonna need to wash your hair you just use conditioner and massage the scalp gently and put the conditioner everywhere and then you rinse it through thoroughly so you get all the conditioner out so you can comb it and let it air dry like usual and all of that sort of stuff because shampoos are very very harsh on the hair and it will open up the hair and it will drag out moisture and it will extract oils and dirt from the hair and it will leave it very dry and very sensitive that's why you use conditioner afterwards but to really 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 prepare your hair to be the most resistant to the bleach you should not use shampoo at all you should just use the conditioner when you wash your hair and while we are talking about conditioners we will go over to leave-in conditioners and that involves ordinary leave-in conditioners and that also involves oils and hair masks because if your hair is very dry and very damaged you might not just get away with leaving your hair as it is for a week with just washing it with conditioner. Sometimes you will need to get some extra moisture and resistance up or you know grease build up on the hair and that is really really good to get with olive oil, leave-in conditioners, a very very intensive repairing hair mask. I can actually recommend the Nutris Gar... Gar Nutris Garnier repair free and that is a hair mask which contains three different oils and that is actually really really good to use as a styling product or you know a overnight treatment for your hair. Although you should not overdo the hair masks because they can actually suffocate the hair if you use them too often. That is why it's better to use like a ordinary leave-in conditioner, a little bit of olive oil or coconut oil or argan oil that is actually natural for your hair. Just make sure that you are not using a brand that have silicone as a ingredient in their oils because silicone where that build up can actually suffocate the hair also and also suffocate the scalp. Silicone is actually really really good to lock in nutrients and active ingredients on the hair strand but when you wash the hair all of that will just wash out of course but if you are not washing your hair with shampoo it will just not go away just a tip for you but always prepare your hair with deep conditioning and all of that sort of stuff so it has that moisture and all of that sort of stuff so when the bleach comes on it's not just frying off directly you know yes the fourth 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 the fjärde sak ja nu the fourth thing to think about when you are bleaching your hair is actually not to wash it beforehand before the actual bleach you know because when you have gone a week with just washing it with conditioner and you have put a shit ton of oil in it and all of that sort of stuff it can just feel really really greasy and itchy and you know really really icky sticky greasy dirty ew and you might want to wash it beforehand so your hair is fresh 
and free of all that grace before you put the bleach in. Hey. I'm sorry that is so wrong. The times I have bleached my hair with dirty hair has turned out the best. It will not bleach as harshly if you have all of that crap on your hair. And funnily enough, the color will actually turn out more even if you have an even coat of dirt in your hair. So don't wash it beforehand if you're bleaching it. That is about it with this point in this video. Yes, indeed. The fifth thing is don't bleach too many times in a row. I know it's tempting to bleach it like two or three times per day if you want it really, really blonde and you have a lot of color in it already and you have had a shit ton of different colors on your hair and you really, really want to get that out. No, I'm sorry. I, I have done that mistake also. I bleached my tie. My... <coughs> I bleached my hair seven times in one day. I can tell you that my hair have never looked as crappy as it did that day. It's horrible. It's, it's just horrendous. I'm impressed it didn't fall out, but it could as well have done that because it was so damaged, so dry, it looked like I had a goddamn burillo pad on my head. It, it were... Uh... It were horrendous. So don't bleach too many times in one day. I can recommend you to maximum bleach it two times if you really, really must. But one time is almost too much already. So if you're gonna bleach it more than one time, do it over a weekend maybe or a holiday that you have a few days to stay at home and maybe bleach it once every two days because that day in between will actually give you time to put in deep conditioner and oil it up you know and you know just give it some moisture and life back before you are killing it again you know and that is just why you should not bleach it too many times per day because when you have bleached it you probably will need to wash it and you wash it with shampoo which dries out the hair even more and even though you are putting leave-in conditioners and all that sort of stuff in your hair and let it dry it will just still be processed it's it's brittle it's porous it's it's not good to put more destroying stuff on that hair at that moment leave it for a day or two maybe to let it you know rest and get its strength back i know it sounds like i'm talking about a person but it's your hair you don't want it to fall out because you want to go blonde without a professional hairstylist to help you with it and now you are probably in the bleaching stage since I've talked about bleaching and you have the bleach in your hair and you are on your first time bleaching it. Don't go damn panic! Because I have seen that so many times on these bleach fail videos. People panic and wash it out prematurely and it just looks like shit. And you have already destroyed it when you put the bleach on and now you are washing it out after like 20 minutes and it just looks piss yellow instead of a golden yellow because when you are bleaching your hair the color oxidizes away you know it it it, it bleaches it fades you know you know how bleach works it bleaches the hair it will go through several different stages of color changing so if you have black hair it might turn to a brownish to green and then to a reddish tone and then from red to orange and from orange to yellow and from yellow to blonde and during that process it's easy to get panicked and wash it out because oh my god my, my hair is turning yellow i don't want that Ooh. I don't know what people are thinking gonna happen when they are washing it out prematurely when it are turning yellow. It's not like the bleach is coloring anything because it's bleach. It just takes away color. It doesn't add anything into it. So if it's yellow and you wash out in the yellow state, it will just stay yellow until you bleach it the next time. So I mean, it's a waste of money, product and time and it's just... If you can get it right the first time, get it right the first time because bleaching it two times because you push it out the first time will destroy your hair twice as much of course. Now the hair is bleached, it's time for aftercare. You have actually achieved the color you want with bleaching it maybe one time, two times, three times. You have taken care of it in between bleaches if you have bleached it multiple times. And now it's time for aftercare because blonde hair doesn't just stay blonde by itself and healthy by itself. You are in constant need to add in moisture and proteins so the hair can build itself up again and not break off because it gets too dry or too brittle when you are styling it and brushing it and putting products in it and heat on it and all of that sort of stuff. So it's a good thing to actually buy a really, 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 really good leave-in conditioner and conditioner and shampoo for bleached hair or colored hair and use treating masks after the bleach, you know. There are several different hair masks you can use. I have 
already tipped you about one, the Garnier Repair 3. It's actually great to give you moisture back into your hair if it's very dry, very brittle. And you actually see results from it. It's actually one of the few masks I have used that actually gives me result. You can do your own hair repairing mask by mixing olive oil or coconut oil or argan oil or maybe all of those oils together with pure honey. You know that honey that looks like a goddamn cake in a jar. You mix all of those oils with honey, you put it in your hair for like an hour or so, and when you wash it out, it will actually feel much smoother, much fuller. All of those oils will of course give back moisture, and the honey will actually give it protein. So the hair will actually have all what it needs to rebuild itself from the root to the top. Especially in the tips, you know the tips. Because the tips are actually very very brittle after you have bleached it of course. But you know that already, that's why you're watching this video. Yes indeed. That were all the tips I had written down for you my darlings. But I actually have a bonus tip. And that is cut your hair before bleaching it. You don't want that chemical haircut from a failed bleach. I have gotten that. It can look cute, it can look disastrous also. And it oftentimes it just looks like shit. When you have gotten a chemical haircut actually. So the reason why you should cut it beforehand is actually to get rid of split ends so the hair doesn't split even more when it gets dry and brittle and the chemical reaction is going on on your hair and splitting it even more so it looks like you have a goddamn brillo pad on your head. So if you want to avoid that chemical haircut and brittleness and split ends and all that sort of stuff, cut the split ends off beforehand. That were those tips and tricks for you my darlings. I hope it has been a little bit informative and I don't hope you have felt like I have been, you know, screaming at you. I know I can sound a little bit pushy and forwardy and, you know, angry, but I assure you I am not, not a good thing, I know. But still, thank you so much for watching and don't forget to press that like, subscribe and notification icon so you don't miss anything when I bleach my hair next week and so you can become a part of the Darling Squad and the Degasmo family as well. And never forget... Read the instructions before using that box bleach. Bye!